Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have created a basic uh, directive, right? So, in the directive, what we have seen? We have seen, uh, if you go here, yeah, this is the directive we have seen. Now, here, we are trying to change the background color using the basic basic JavaScript like that thing. So, for example, style dot back document dot get element by idea of something like that style dot background color is equal to. So, we are using something native type of features. Okay. In the Angular, so we will we also have a uh, we will also have a uh, what we can say is methods or properties so which we can change the uh, behavior of the element in the Angular uh, without using this one we can use some uh, special methods are there in the Angular. So what are those methods we will see in here. So it's not a better practice or better approach like this change. We can change it like this, but what we are doing is we are trying to add the JavaScript native features so that the angular features will not be will, will have a chance to miss okay so that is the reason we need to use the angular features only so that the two way binding and all those things will work properly so if we use these uh, angular features and all those things only then only it will be better for us okay we will see that one body how we can change the style background color and all those things using the uh, other feature other feature okay now uh, instead of creating like this directive we can also create something like ng okay here i can go okay here i can write ng gd gd means generate directive okay so in the directives create the directives here i will write renderer renderer highlight something like this i will keep the name okay so if i if i click on if i enter click so now if I enter, so it will try to create a directive. So you can also create the directives like this. So it will create the directives automatically here. You, you will be able to see the directives here. Spec, uh, spec is a test file. We will see in the later videos. And this is the TS file. And also automatically in the app.module.ts also it will be added automatically. Previously we have added it manually, right? So now here it, uh, automatically ngGD means it will, it will generate it dynamically. Now in this uh, directive we will try to use this one so now if we go to use now if we go to constructor we already know that if we in order to get the element we can use element element ref it will be the element ref okay so i will implement ng on init i will implement the on init okay so if i am implementing on init method means what i need to do i need to uh, i need to add the ng on init so i need to add i need to implement this method ng on in it so here what we can do is instead of using this this dot element dot ch changing like this so we need to use special method study that is renderer so this this will be present in the renderer 2 okay renderer 2 you will be able to see this renderer 2 it, you need to be imported it, it should be imported from the angular code so all the methods changing the behavior of the element you will be having these all the things in the renderer class okay renderer object so we can say it is a renderer object so now we we have injected the renderer object into this constructor using the constructor and here we can use this dot renderer dot set style okay you'll be having the list of methods all the methods you'll be having so right now we need to use that so if you render a dot you'll be able to see all the methods okay so i'll be using that set style so we will be using set style so what is the style we need so we need to first we need to so if you enter and if you enter here and you will be you will be able to see the methods here first first parameter is element we need to send the element and second one is the type style and also the value so first element how we can send so we can send here this dot element dot native element we can send it like this so using this dot native so we have sent the element and what is the style uh, property we need to change it should be the background color and i am changing it here to green okay so this is the this is how we can change it the behavior the style of the the color of the uh, div using the renderer property okay now what i will try to do is here i will go to users component.html and here i will try to copy and i will try to paste the same thing but i will use the app renderer highlight so i will be using this directive so let's check this thing how it will work if i go here and if i check the output here you will be able to see the green color see so both the directives implementation is one and the same but here we have used the native javascript type of method and here we have used the renderer property which is present in built in the angular so it is for me according to me what i can say is 
instead of using like this it is better to use the renderer property which is already present in the angular so that it will be very helpful for us and also we could not we, there, there will be no uh, uh, unexpected errors or something like that you will be not able to find any types of things okay so this is about the how to use the renderer property render or render object in the angular for the, for accessing the dom elements okay so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you